today I'm going to be showing you how to get this eye look that I've got going on just now. I want to do something a bit different and got the idea for this glitter cut crease wing thing. I know this isn't like an everyday look that people would wear but I wanted to just experiment a bit and go outside my comfort zone and encourage you to do the same thing. And don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you like it. Oh, look at that colour difference. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe, I would really appreciate it. Let me know what you think in the comments below and let me know what you want to see next from me. If you want to see how to get this eye look, then just keep on watching. So I'm going to start off the same as always, put it out a transition shade. I'm going to use the Golden Ochre shade from the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. I'm using this for the majority of this cut crease part. So I'm just putting that everywhere like normal and then I'm going to go in with raw sienna and I'm going to put that down just sort of focusing it more in the crease and just blending it upwards but also kind of just putting it everywhere. It doesn't really matter at this point because you're going to clean up the crease anyway. So this is how I did my cut crease. Since I've got hooded eyes I was looking straight forward into my mirror and just mapping out a completely new crease. It's obviously a lot different than where my actual one is and this is good if you've got hooded eyes or if you've got like mono lids. It's good to just be able to map out your crease and you can just create a new one wherever you want it to be. So I'm going in with the brush that comes with a palette and just using that shader brush to start blending it out. I wanted to go in with like a smaller brush to start off with just to make it a bit more precise. And then I'm going to flip the brush over and just go in with a fluffy side to start blending that out. It doesn't really matter if you go below the line because you're going to clean that up anyway but try and stay above the line as you can so you can really blend that out. Now I'm going to go in with a warmer shade, that orange from the Anastasia palette. I didn't really do this on my other eye which is why it might look a bit more cool toned but I just wanted to add a bit of warmth so I'm just kind of putting that all over that line. Then going in with Cypress Umber, the darker shade and this is where I started really mapping out the crease. So I'm just going over the exact same line that I did with that raw sienna shade I'm just trying to match it up with the other eye. Um, it is a bit harder to blend this line out but if you really work at it you can. So I just did the exact same thing, went over the line and then started to blend out a little bit with that angled brush and then I went in with the same shader brush from the palette with a tiny bit of that colour. You want to start it with a really small amount and then I just started to try, try and blend that up to make it look darker and like it is my actual crease and then flip the brush over and use the fluffy side to blend it out more. I then just picked up another fluffy brush and started to try and blend that out a wee bit more because it wasn't looking as blended as I wanted it to be. And then I went up and cleaned up the crease with Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC and I just used an angled brush and just went right under that line and tried to make it really precise and that's when the whole look will sort of come together and not look so messy. And then after that I just set that with the, I think it's the Tempera it's called from the Anastasia palette, just like any light coloured eyeshadow. And then I went in with Rossi and again and just cut out my actual crease. So I was just going where my eyelid sort of folds, um, just putting a line under there and just following that flick on the outside. And then I went in with the Real Techniques shader brush, I think it is, um, and I picked up blue brown pigment from Mac. Um, I just went in with my brush, I dampened it a bit with a spray and then I just went all over the lid and just sort of flicked it out on the outside corner just to lay down a base because the eyeshadow I'm going to go in with is um, Urban Decay Solstice and it's not really as pigmented as this. Um, that's me pointing out all the fallout. <laughs> so this is the Solstice eyeshadow. It's just basically the same as MAC Blue Brown but it's more pink rather than red and I really like the way it looked with this eyeshadow so I was just flicking it out on the outside and really making sure to pack that on the lid so it was really nice and pigmented. Then you don't have to do this but just to add a wee bit more interest I went in with that blue eyeshadow that I talked about in my eyeliner tutorial just put that on the outside a bit more to make that blue really pop. And then I went in with Urban Decay's Midnight Cowboy Glitter Eyeliner and I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do with this. I didn't know if I wanted to just put it like where I am just now, just along the top in the crease but then I ended, out, I ended up um, outlining the wing and then I ended up just filling in the whole wing. So I went a bit mental but you don't have to do that. It looks nice just like that, just sort of like along the top of the crease because it just gives a bit of something to look at. But I started to just fill in the outside of that crease there. Then I went in with Max Reflex Gold Glitter just to add more because that Midnight Cowboy wasn't really building up as much as I wanted it to. So I just went in with that on a little detailer brush and sort of used the glitter eyeliner as a glue and just packed it over directly, not really in the crease but just over that winged bit. 
And then I went in with tattoo liner and this is completely optional but I just wanted to add a bit of like a graphic eyeliner. So I just outlined the wing and then went about halfway in on the cut crease and it just sort of made the cut crease stand out a bit more because I thought it was just kind of getting lost with the glitter. So I just outlined that and that was the finished eye look. So I just added some Ardell Wispy eyelashes and then went in on my lower lash line. Just used that same fluffy brush because I wasn't wanting to be too precise and just used the Cypress Umber shade on the outside corner and then went in with a little bit of Solstice on the inside just to sort of tie it all together. And for my waterline I went in with the Ellie Girl Glide On Eye Pencil in Royal Blue just for something a bit different than a typical black or a white. And then that is the finished eye look. I know it's a bit different and something I've not done before, but if you liked it, remember to give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment letting me know what you think. And thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you in my next one.